Hey there, welcome to Empire of Enthusiasts, uh, the internet's finest nerd debrief. This week we're going to be talking about Magic the Gathering. Yes, the world's favourite card game, but apart from all those ones you play like with an actual deck of cards. Uh, stick around. Alright, let's get on with it. Let's meet the people who are going to be talking about Magic the Gathering here today. Richard McKenzie on my left hand side here, and over on the far side it's Mr. Christian Cadet. And of course Adam joins us as always next to me here. Alright, um, so Magic the Gathering, it's mm -hmm. one of the biggest games in the world. Currently. Um, and what? it makes a ridiculous amount of money. It was 45... Ridiculous. Oh, I had the statistics. 45,000 no. yeah. uh, was for the grand prize of the World Magic Tournament that was so held if you yearly. won the World Magic Tournament, you won 45 grand. Yes. Mm. For playing Magic. And they fly all over the world. I think it was in Amsterdam last year, and next year it's in France. Right. Right, so it didn't go very far, really. <laughs> <laughs> I might have gone all the way. I, I don't know. Yeah, how yeah fair enough. Um, all right, now, um, I guess I guess it's true. It what, is. what is Magic the Gathering? Yeah, all right. Adam it's, and I don't play. No. Uh, whereas Christian and Richard do. Yep. Uh, now, Richard, imagine that Adam's an idiot. <laughs> okay. Um, Stretch your imagination <laughs> that far. <laughs> Explain Magic the Gathering. Because uh, I'm only new to it as well. Yes. Uh, I got sucked in at the start of this year. <laughs> uh, the best I can explain it to you is uh, you're a sorcerer and you're trying to kill the other sorcerer. Uh, across from you on the table. So you use all your creatures or spells uh, to get their life down from 20 points to zero. Right. And that's what you're doing. You're just using cards. Right. As, right. You know, okay. And all the cards. Well, that, sounds, that sounds perfectly reasonable. <laughs> it's, it's, it's perfectly uh, reasonable. What, what, that seems like it would be lots of fun. Uh, what I guess I my first question is, is like, it seems to encapsulate, it seems to um, really take over people's lives. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's like uh, crack. Yeah, it's, it's like totally crack. like crack. It's, it's a mm. drug. Because you got me into this. You, you, you did I'm, this very, I'm very sorry. You did this to me. I warned you. You did warn me. You did warn me. <laughs> but what is it? It seems like it seems like a fairly. It seems, it seems like a board game. It seems like a game that you would you know is, get around is, with your mates and like what's so. What what happens is, uh, I, I think it's a fun game. I think mm. it's really really interesting to play and and it's quite social. You know, you can go one on one uh, or you can have five people on a table playing and stuff. Uh, but I think the thing that really sucks you in is like, for example, you buy. Uh, a pack that has booster. Uh, what, what is what is this? Tell, so that's, tell me that's what this. what's uh, called a fat pack. Right. It comes with uh, I think it's nine booster packs inside, each with about fifteen yeah, cards. Yeah, about that. Uh, but it's very much like football cards you used to get when you were growing up. Yeah. You didn't know what you were going to get inside them, so suddenly you start opening up these cards, going, "Got it, got it, need it, got it," and then you go, "Well, if I need, if I got one more of those." I could put it together a deck where they'd all complement each other. Mm. So you start, suddenly start going and buying individual cards from the Magic the Gathering store and looking at eBay going, whoa, $150 for that card. I mean, it is expensive, <laughs> but my deck will be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a, a real addiction. And it's got that little element of surprise and you don't quite know what you're going to get. Each card's got a certain amount of rares and sometimes you get a mystic rare. Mm. So every time you open a pack, it is very exciting. It's, yeah. It's, it's got it a little bit exciting. of gambling. You don't know what's going to happen. You open another pack, suddenly you don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> uh, because you haven't seen her any like forever. Uh, cause you, well, um, wh what's the most you paid for a card? What's the most you... I, I, I'm going to... As I said, I'm going to... I feel like I'm sure. Stuff. <laughs> Look at Chris. Uh, <laughs> so I, I think I paid uh, $50 for a card the other day. Right. Um... But I'm looking at all these other ones that are like, you know... Now, Richard, is this, a, is this a gateway card? Um, it's, it is, yeah. <laughs> is, this it a is, is this a, is this totally. a gateway card to more hardcore cards? <laughs> yeah, I'll be, I'll be mainlining some Pokemon soon. And yeah. Uh, oh, look, it, it's, it, the price with Magic, and especially because they don't reprint everything. So, every year you get a, a set. You get about three releases a year. Mm. Uh, it's called a block. Yep. So what happens is, so this is the latest set. This is Theros. Theros, and it's all. Is this the one that you mentioned in our Comic Con special? Yes, in the Comic Con mm -hmm. special. Yes. That was, yeah. So it's all Greek mythology. Yep. Now there'll be in the Theros set there'll be three different releases. So this is mm. a part one, mm -hmm. right. and there's all there's a backstory to everything. So there's mm. there's co comic books, there's books, there's now they're making so much money on the vi on mm. the video game because yeah. it's on on tablets, it's on everything. Mm. And that's what I that's what I'm using as well. It's because we don't play. Super often we yeah. play maybe once every couple of weeks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I then get online and play Magic online against other people, so I can go. Oh, that works really well. I'll use that next time I play Christian. Right. So, yeah. so you've got you've got a Magic the Gathering simulator. <laughs> yes. 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 Right. It's like a little training thing. So yeah, because yeah. there's hundreds of different types of mechanics in it. It's it's like chess times ten. 
because everything affects everything else. And you, someone can have a deck that completely destroys yours with one specific you know mm. mechanic with it, and you've got to try to do something different. And the best thing about it is you can build your own decks. So it's not like a board game where risk or something where you're always playing with the same set of stuff. Yeah. This the decks I make with this are my decks. They're personalized. They win or lose depending on how good I build them, and mm-hmm. then play them. Obviously, there's always random because you shuffle and you you randomize yeah. it that way. But when you beat someone else with your deck, that's you. You've put your thought into that, and when you're demolishing their hard work, it's <laughs> it's glorious. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I, one of the things I love about Empire is that it, it teaches me how to be a better nerd. I feel like I'm being a better nerd <laughs> doing this and learning about this other stuff. Uh, what's the competitive stuff like? Like getting together and uh, getting together with your mates. That all sounds pretty fun. Yes. It, yeah, yes. Yes. <laughs> we played because we played last night. Yeah. Uh, and we, we all came uh, along. Um, it was the first time we'd used the cards yeah, the just from the Theros yeah. um, release. Mm. Uh, and again, I was going, oh, I'm not sure if I put this deck together correctly. And so we'll, we'll see. And it was going really well. Yeah. And I was, I was, I was doing well. And, and poor Christian over here was, <laughs> was just miserable. drawing mana. It was miserable. It was you. It was, you, it was ter- you had a terrible hand. Yes. Uh, but then you won the whole game. Yes. Because everyone I came just, home strong. <laughs> everyone just went. We'll Every- just leave him alone for the moment because he's no threat to anyone. We all bickered amongst ourselves and fought amongst ourselves, yeah. destroyed each other, and then he just gl- yeah. glides, in, yeah. glides into victory. So can you bluff in Magic? Of course you can. It's a lot of table talk. Yeah. Right. It's the thing of diplomacy, the board game diplomacy, where it's, it's a lot of. I'm going to agree, don't do this for a few turns, I'll do this, you can't beat this guy, he's got flying, I can deal with him, and then we can worry about each other. Yeah. And so you've got to put a lot of trust, and of course, that doesn't always go no, well. No, that doesn't There were two all. huge betrayals last night, where people could not believe that, we had a, di- we had a, what was it, what did he keep on saying? We had a... Accord. And it, we had an accord! We had I a can't co- believe you've done this to me! I wiped him off the board. I literally thought at one point, Pugs was going to grab the table and flip it in anger. He was, he was just seething. He couldn't, couldn't believe that he'd been betrayed. Yeah. Wow. It was yeah. great. It was great. And that was the second time it happened. Yeah, it was. Because like, <laughs> he made an accord with the same guy and then got betrayed again. <laughs> you you it think was he'd learn. Glorious. But he needed him. He needed him to be able to win. So he put his faith there and it was not rewarded. Wow. Well, it sounds pretty intense. Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, I think we've all learned something here today. All right. We'll be back right after this. Alright, welcome back. Um, we're now going to talk about geek news. We're going to have a quick uh, round of sort of things we've noticed on the internet. Adam, what have you Well, we uh, from the last couple of weeks, what I'm very excited about is they finally cast Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch for the Avengers. Mm-hmm. And we have uh, Aaron Taylor Thomas. To, what's his name? <laughs> is it Aaron Taylor Johnson, isn't it? Aaron yeah. Taylor Johnson. I, he's like Gordon, Jason Gordon Livett. <laughs> what is it? Like, I, I can never remember their names. Uh, he, he plays Magic. Robert. Oh, does he? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Who, right. Jo- Joseph Gordon Livett. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a Magic he's Gathering big player. Magic, the Gathering player. Yeah, right. Yeah. Doesn't make a lot of If he doesn't, it's got to be okay. <laughs> well, yeah, so Robin's doing so it. Yeah. All right. yeah, so Kick Ass is playing uh, Quicksilver, Quicksilver, and Elizabeth Olsen, I believe, yep. is going to be Scarlet Witch. I don't know who she is, but. No, I don't, who's, uh, she's Mary Kate and Ashley's younger sister, who's a much better actress than me. What? What? No. Yeah. And Olsen I, is she, in I, the I, I, In my head, I went, wouldn't it be funny if. She's not literally one she's of the. She's their younger sister. Oh, that's no. She I'm, is. She's... What, what has she been in? Wow. Oh, um, off the top of my head, I can't. Any audience? Martha Marcy Maymo. Yeah, Ma- Ma- Martha, Martha, Martha Ma- Marcy Maymo Lane. Anything else? I, I, I think I've she was very good in that. that. No, I know. But do you know what happened when Olsen people get around people who are in superhero films? They fucking die. <laughs> What do you mean? Heath Ledger died in one of the Olsen oh, apartments. Right. Yeah, okay. Oh, but uh, like, I'm not saying that the Avengers are going to die. <laughs> I think you are. But I think <laughs> I am. I like, I like, I didn't say it. You just did. I did say. It. I did just say that. <laughs> you just said it. Yeah. Anyway, look, well, that, I mean, she might be good. She, she's a great actress, and I is think she? she'll be great. Yeah. No, great. Right. Other geek news that I noticed is that um, apparently there are people at NBC considering whether or not to make. A uh, Hellblazer TV show. Mm. Yes, that's with John that's Constantine. Pretty, yeah, yeah. 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 Probably, a, John a British John Constantine. Though? Well, obviously that it's not that far down the line. David Escoya is involved in it, and he's the fellow who wrote wrote the various Batman films and mm. has developed various really shitty TV shows in the past. Mm. Uh, and he wrote Blade and whatnot, and wrote and directed Blade Three, which uh, we'll always remember. Yeah. Thank you, David. Um, I like Blade Three. Mm. Yeah, I'm a I'm a. Ryan, whatever his name oh, is. Oh, wait, no, Blade Ryan 3. Ryan. Oh, no, Ryan. never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For a second, I forgot which one it was. That was the one with the dogs. 
The dog vampires. Yeah, that was. Oh good. no, that was a turd. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, Ryan Reynolds was fantastic in it. Yeah. The beard and he was buff and it was great. Yeah. Yeah. But no, no, when the dog went, ah, yeah. and I went, who bit the dog? That is stupid. <laughs> Aren't they going to um, make a Commissioner Gordon? Well, they're thinking about making a, 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 a Gotham. It's called Gotham. I mean, why they don't just make Gotham Central? Like you know, Gotham Central. And now everyone, everyone on the internet, and everyone who watches this show is going to do exactly what I'm about to do. Yeah. We've all had ideas that we had years ago that then come up and they go, that's my fucking idea. Yeah. Yeah. That show idea was my idea. Right. Okay. I had the idea to do a show about all the um, citizens of Gotham who are basically under terrorist threat the entire <laughs> yeah. lives and it's about how they deal with it. It was about two brothers and don't you steal this. Like, <laughs> if I see this plot on your show, it's about two brothers. One of them turns into um, like a superhero type. Uh, but uh, one of them turns into a super villain, and you don't know until the end of the second, maybe the first season, uh, which brother is going to tilt which way. Right. Uh, yeah. So that's the classic one's a cop and one's a uh, thug. Yeah. If it it yeah. would be better if they were just a street level cop and a thug to a super villain. Yeah. Like, don't make, you don't make yeah. them the top bar. Make them the, oh, I went out on a job, good lord. Yeah. With a riddle, I didn't know what was going on. We made yeah. it out with some things and. The glass broke, and you know, Batman bro- almost broke my arm. <laughs> I only just made yeah. it out of there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, apparently there won't be any Batman in this. It's before mm. Batman. Yeah. Then it's before all the villains. So it's just Gotham. Well, I think the idea. Anyway. I think <laughs> their idea is the villains came before Batman, and then Batman came as a as a result of the villains. Right. But but the classic Batman. I'm going to make this story. Place. Yeah. <laughs> well, but anyway, right. I think it'll be good. It's um, it, it's very internet office. But who would you like to see cast as Commissioner Gordon? Or oh. James Gordon, Lieutenant James Gordon, as it were. Oh, oh wow. Uh, oh, you've really <laughs> got me there, without notice, I know. Uh, without yeah. notice. Obviously, my pick would be uh, Tom Selleck, circa 1985. Um, yeah. We can't oh, go back in time. time. Yeah. 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 No, you can go back in time. Uh, I want, I want from... Peter Falk. Peter Falk would be great. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah, he would be great. I'll tell you what, Joker. The guy from Homeland. You want Damien Lewis? Yeah. He'd be pretty yeah, good. He'd be, He'd be great. Yeah. He's a redhead. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know? Oh, is, that, is that what you've done? He's a redhead. 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 Anyone else? <laughs> That's uh, unnecessary, look, sir. I think Brian Cranston is no. A easy Cranston thing. deserves better. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Better. Oh, you mean than TV? Than being in this bloody show because it will be terrible. Oh, uh, you reckon? I have a suspicion it'll be terrible. Yeah. Oh, really? That's my idea, Nick. It's not <laughs> Adam's show will be great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I right. think if Chris is going to be in the DC universe, then he should be Lex Luthor. I'm yeah. happy with that. Put him in anything. Yeah, yeah. Make him the janitor. I'll yeah. watch it. <laughs> the janitor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he mops up after all the, you know, oh, more broken glass from the skylight. He'll oh, clean oh. up crime. Yeah. No, he's, yeah, no, he's, he's literally should, a janitor. There should, oh, be right. a, there should be a show called Gotham City Glaziers, which is yeah. about people <laughs> 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 And they're yeah. the real kingpins. Yeah. yeah. They've got he's so making much them money. <laughs> yeah. Every day. He's like, yeah. Sweet. You're telling me that all the superheroes are basically just employed by these glass replacers. You know what? That's probably one of Bruce Wayne's. Yeah, Wayne Ted. Wayne 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 totally is going in and fixing up all the damage he does after yeah. how he beats up villains. Yeah, because who needs to throw that many barrels? Mm. Like, no, no. Just, yeah. like, you know, do you think? Glass do you time. think citizens of Gotham on their Google app, uh, Google Maps would have like you know how you have traffic reports that's on a, your Google that's Maps? That's a good name. So for would it. they? No, would that's they a, have citizens of Gotham. Citizens of Gotham. That's a great name for your show. C- citizens of Gotham. Citizens of Gotham. That's yeah, a great good, name. isn't it? Don't you steal that? Don't steal the internet. That's it. Are you going to give away an app idea as well right now? Yeah, no. Like, just say you're a citizen of Gotham, right? Yeah. You go, oh, I've got to get to work. I wonder if there's oh, any yeah, the crime serious... Report. Yeah, uh, yeah <laughs> you get a super villain. Yeah. Super villain. Actually, sorry if I shouldn't go on the A690 because... Yeah, Killer Crocs loose. Killer Crocs loose. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, ta- I'll take the B road. <laughs> you know what? Your two brothers, they should start off as janitors and yeah. one of them finds a superhero weapon after a cleaning up. Yes. And he's like, he's he got a free gun. Mm. other stories now. What? No. That's all... Hello. Welcome to everything. All right, all right. <laughs> one of the brothers is a high school student gets bitten by a spider. <laughs> The other brother, uh, he, he uh, gets the paper chemo, <laughs> <very sad. laughs> and then he dies. It's very sad. Uh, One season. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all we've got time for. Uh, those are some of the stories that interested us. Uh, we, of course, follow more things on our websites, uh, on our Facebook page, and on Twitter. So keep in touch with us there. Uh, big thanks to our guests, Christian Kaday and Richard McKenzie. Uh, we'll see you again shortly. All right, that's all we've got time for. Thank you for watching. Remember, get online, get on our Facebook page, on our Twitter, and keep in touch with us. Uh, not only do we cover lots of nerd news there as well, uh, we reveal many ideas that you could steal from us. So get online. We'll see you next time.